Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to Redesign 16. So this is where I post about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle every single week. Before I get started on mixing up foundations today, please like this video, and please hit the subscribe button before we jump in. So let's get started. Hey everyone, so I wanted to hop on and do a little mixing a foundation if you've been around for a while you know that i love to mix foundation and eyeshadow all together not all at once but i did an igt <coughs> excuse me igtv video over on my instagram the other day of mixing foundations and i don't know i came up with a matte finish glow foundation I don't know, it gave me kind of a shine, so I wanted to bring it over here to show you guys. And by the way, I do a lot more over on Instagram during the week than I do here on YouTube. I've said that plenty of times. So if you want to follow me there, there's a link in my about. And it says Instagram, you click that, you follow me, you can directly message me there with your questions. And if you're going to comment, please be kind with your words. So, I'm going to do a variety of things today. So, and I have a little cap to squirt it on. So, I'm going to use this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB cream for oily skin um i have normal to this is light medium so i have normal to dry skin but a couple of weeks ago we had here we had a huge heat wave and my face got oily like it was weird so then I'm taking my mix, make sense, uh, fun, uh, CCTM Synergens, and I will put a link down for all of the Synergens products. The CCTM is the best. If you have redness in your skin, like I do, it will cover it up because it has a green tint to it. Then I'm taking this buff foundation. Just a little, because I'm almost out, and I don't want to get any more because I want to use up all the stuff I have first. Then I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation um, in the shade Buff. So it comes with a wand, and oh, and I just got my um, and I'm just dabbing it right there as I cut some on my hand. So I'm going to add a little bit more. This is basically all the same shade. Then I'm going to take my finger, mix it all up, apply it. You can apply it with a sponge, makeup sponge, or you can use a flat top brush. And I like to um, go in with my, this one I guess I'll use. This is the BS Mall Face Round Brush. And I'm just gonna start Padding it in. I usually use my other one by BS Small. It's a face flat, I think. So, this is like the perfect shade. And with a BB cream, um, it gives a shine. Like it's supposed to give you a shine. And I can definitely tell. So... Just, and I'm patting it in over here for a more airbrush look. And 
I'm just covering that all up. Should have just did one side. Do you see that? It is amazing. And I noticed that when I don't use my finger and I just pat it or take some on my brush, it gives like more full coverage, even though the Buff Foundation from Make Sense Synergens Foundation is a full coverage and the CCTM is a medium to light coverage. So, I really, really like this look because it's summertime and I am getting um, tanner. So, I've been like, every day that it's sunny out, I'm outside all the time. Like, that's why I love summer and spring so much because you can go outside. I mean, you could go outside in the winter and fall, but winter is like really cold and I just don't like snow. So I'm not a winter person. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So it is pretty much all filled in except for down here like it doesn't really match and i want it all to blend because it covers up my vitiligo so um here is a cap so i'm just gonna do the same thing that i did i'm so happy that's all these foundations I'm using because I'm using some Synergens products, which I will put a link down below so that you can shop the Make Sense Foundation and the CC Tam. It is mind blowing. Like when you use it, it's life changing. So I'm gonna, you don't need much of it. Um, now I'm going to, instead of, um, using, here's my other brush. It is used for blush, but I use it for foundation because it's a bigger one. BS. Okay, right on top. I'm just going to blend her, rub it on there, and just add a little bit more. And one little secret I did, I don't know if you noticed, but I added um, this Maybelline Fit Me Powder before I did this combination of this matte um, glow shine um, foundation look, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really have a glow to it. It just kind of makes a shine. So if that is something you're looking for, then... I don't know. I probably won't do this in the winter, fall, winter, um, because it's different season. Okay. I could just go like this all day and be fine, but I'm not. So I'm going to, um, let that set up and also one thing i've mentioned this before in previous videos with the make sense foundation and the cctm you want to wait like a minute 
up to a minute and a half because it adjusts to your skin tone. So, and the CCTM cancels out any redness um, and it adjusts up to three shades of skin tones. So if you don't think that you have the right skin tone, then um, wait a minute or two. So I'm going to take a Real Technique makeup sponge and even though I patted it in with an airbrush look, I just go over it with my makeup sponge and just make sure it's all patted in to the right um, places. And I even put matte powder down here. And I did a video a while back like almost two years ago, I think, of mixing loose powder with foundation. I might do that again in the new future. So, and if you don't know, I'm trying to reach a goal of 100,000 views on YouTube by July, 30, July 30th. And I only need 6,000 more. So there is a little update for you guys. So I'm going to go in natural lighting to show you guys because it looks amazing in the mirror. Gives me shine, everything that I'm looking for. That's why I love mixing things. So, I'm going to go where there's more natural lighting. Look at that. Amazing. Yes, it has a, like, an orange tint to it, but... I don't know, I think it looks really well. So I'm going to finish up here and put the rest of my makeup on and come back with the end result for you guys. Hey, so I'm back with the end result and this is how it turned out. I really like it. Please like this video and please hit the subscribe button. Please leave and ring the bell so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. First come, first serve. Thanks for watching.